YouTube channel. If you're new here, go ahead and like and subscribe and leave me a comment. So, in case you don't know, my name is Jonquo of Jonquo Art. Um, today, I'm actually going to be doing my very first grad cap. Yes, I know you guys know me for doing digital and fashion illustration, but your girl can paint too. So today, I'm going to be working on my first grad uh, I'm not going to edit this blooper out. It all is just showing me is that I don't need to be so WWM rehearsy with this. So I'm not going to edit it out. You're all going to see all these mistakes. I'm new to doing YouTube, obviously. So whatever. Anyway, so this is the hat that I am working on. Can you guys see it well? Maybe. So I got this commission by a girl who's been following me for a while. She loves my Disney Princess collection. If you haven't seen it, Delicia, I'll live, leave a link down below so you can see it. And she loved the way that I did Tiana. So she asked me to recreate Tiana um, in my style using the Almost There as sequence from the movie as the inspiration. And if you guys haven't seen Princess and the Frog, yes, I know it's upsetting that she is a frog most of the movie. Don't get me started on that. That's a whole other video. But it's a very endearing movie to my heart. I myself am from New Orleans, so I love that we have a black princess from New Orleans like me. But if you look at the artwork from that sequence, the song Almost There, it's very almost classic art deco. It may not be art. I don't know the style. I'm lying to y'all. Um, I need to look that up. I did not do that research for this, but everything is in mono. It's pretty much monochromatic in different shades of yellow and ochre and different, you know, deep shades of like orange and burnt umber. So I'm going to be using a lot of those things here. I'm going to give y'all a little bit of secret. So when I paint, I don't spend a lot of money on my paint. Uh, a lot of my paint, I use Apple Barrel. Straight up, Apple Barrel, 50 cents, Walmart, per. Um, I like catching things on sale. I mean, I'm going to mix most of my colors anyway. And these, yes, they do hold up. All the paintings you see in my background, a lot of them are done. 50 cent, Apple Barrel at Walmart. Y'all get into it. Also, other paints I'm going to be using here. I got some paint from a store called Binder. Um, I, when I was living in Atlanta, I used to go to the store all the time. Wasn't it Atlanta? Or was it New York? It was New York. New York, I got this in. Store part binder. But anyway, they, um, have really good acrylics. I'm just using standard acrylic paint here. You know, good old Liquidex always coming in on the clutch. I always get basic because I mean, no, I'm not basic, but I am a boozy bitch. So every now and then. I still use some things that are basic. And then I also have Master's Touch, which I believe comes from Hobby Lobby. I want to say Hobby Lobby. Um, this is pretty decent paint, you know. So basically what I'm saying is that you can use paint from all parts of the price point spectrum. You don't actually have to be working with the most expensive, expensive uh, brands. Also, I'm going to be using my Posca. If I'm saying that wrong, somebody correct me. I need to do my research. I'm country. I'm a bougie country now. So, <laughs> and you will hear me say a lot of those things. But this is what I grew up hearing. So, um, yeah, Posca pens. And I got them an all different thing. I got thicky thicky like me. And, you know, some other sizes. I have white. I have black. And so I tried to pick things. This is probably what um, I would usually use to do my liner. But looking at the artwork, I'm pretty sure that there are no black outlines. So you probably won't see me use this much. But I'll probably use this pen to outline Tiana's dress. So when the grad cap came in, it was obviously black like this and made of material and that was not going to work to paint on so I went ahead and I got myself some Liquitex gesso that's the camera I hope you guys can see that got myself some Liquitex gesso and I painted three quote co three coats on here and then I drew it out with a pencil 
a blue marker pencil, a blue pencil, um, not a marker pencil, a blue pencil. And if you probably can still see it in here. And then I outlined it with black Sharpie, which in hindsight, I shouldn't have done because this is going to be mainly in tones of yellow and trying to do stuff in tones of yellow with covering like a black marker wasn't my smartest move. So do as I say, not as I do. So I just wanted to give you guys, you know, a brief introduction as to what we are working on today. I got my water in my jar. <laughs> you didn't need to see that. Obviously, you're going to use water when you're painting with acrylic paint. Um, and, you you know, I have all my brushes and things ready. I'm going to be using like a lot of, you know, smaller brushes, a lot of filberts and liners to do this because I don't have a lot of surface area to cover. So basically, I just wanted to come in here and say hello. Again, I'm so excited to be doing this project along with y'all. I'm probably going to shut up and put the camera overhead so you guys can actually see me working. I just wanted to come in and just, you know, introduce you to the project. Real quick, let me show you the inspiration in case you're not sure. We pulled up uh, the inspiration for this grad cap um, using my Cintiq at currently to, you know, look at references and things I know. All that money for just something to look at basically a big old monitor but i you know i was sent a few screenshots by my client but every now and then i have to go ahead and do my own research um, mainly because i needed to pull different elements in order to create the image that i wanted so the first thing i'm gonna do is basically tone my canvas since the whole thing is basically in yellow hues i want to make sure that i start off with that as the base and then using a blow dryer, I'm going to quickly dry it and move it to the next phase, which is, you know, blocking in all of my mid-tones and skin colors. When you're working with acrylic paint, it's really about building up those layers. And it's going to go through an ugly phase at first, guys. It's going to be an ugly duckling, but don't worry about it. It's going to get there. So just relax, have fun. I mean, I'm saying have fun, but even I have miniature panic attacks while I'm painting. Um, I often have phase when I'm literally going F, 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 F. This looks horrible. I have failed again. But it's just really about powering through, you know, paint can smell your fear. So I really want to, you know, to just have fun with it. Uh, one of my favorite things is when I actually get all of the tones down and I can really go in there and start doing the details. That's when I can really make things come to life. And I was giving Tiana body here. Like, look at the way that butt is popping. Look at the way that melanin is popping. Yes, this cap is fire. Um, oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for like sitting rolling with me with that. It's kind of, isn't it amazing that take several hours of work and to like condense it down using the power of technology like that literally looked like it only took like a few minutes but I was in here for an entire day I don't know if you could tell but it went from like day to night while I was doing um, I was working so I finished the grad cap so let me show you Ta -da! so as you can tell we went like I said we went with the um, theme of almost there from Tiana so but I wanted to put my own mix on it so I put a little bit of you know a little something something on her I'm gonna see if you can zoom maybe you guys can see that a little better yeah so I'm really happy with how it came out I still need to varnish it but I'm going to look up and see what's the best type of varnish but more than likely I'm gonna put a nice satin varnish on it just to protect this um, and then we're going to, you know, let it dry and send it on its way. I'm probably going to send it off, I'm going to say sometime later this week. I'm going to give it a nice coat of varnish later tonight and let it sit um, so it can be all good and protected. And I'm so, like, excited for this job, you know. Um, this is my first time doing a grad cap. Um, and it's like, I'm new to doing, like, videos as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have, like, any suggestions or anything, please feel free to, like, share them in the comments and tell me what you think. Have you guys decorated your grad caps before? You know, I want to know, um, you know, how this works for people. I'm, like, really excited to, like, join this round. So thank you so much. Um, if you haven't, this is my new YouTube channel, Jungle Art. I want you guys to go ahead and like and subscribe and comment on this video. I'm going to be doing so much more going forward. You're going to see me a lot 
more. I want to talk about body positivity and fashion. I want to show you guys my fashion illustration. My next collection coming up. I can't remember which collection is coming up next. But it's either going to be video game or it's going to be Disney villains. Like I'm so excited. Like if you remember, I said that this was inspired by my uh, my Disney princess Tiana. Please check out my Disney princess collection because the villains are coming up, and I'm going to want you guys to be right there with me as I go through this process. So I'm so happy you guys are here with.